Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Ready Teddy by Elvis Presley. And it's basically a 12-bar blues in C major, so we can kind of start on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now randomly on, on C's in general actually, normally you can lift off first finger and make it a C major 7, or you could add in the pinky on the B string 3rd make it a C major 9. But through the tune, because it's got that bluesy feel actually, you may, you may kind of dig on a C7 chord, where you can take the first finger and go to the G string on the 3rd fret, and make that a C7, or if you want to jazz it up even more, you can make it a C9 by doing first finger on the D 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the A 3rd fret, third finger of the G, B, and E string. Kind of make that a little bit jazzier C chord. And then from the C, actually, we got these hits on the intro where you may, and there's lots of spots through the tune, actually. The, the first four Cs, actually, you may want to try and follow the drum rhythms that, that you're hearing. So kind of that C, C, and I'm kind of doing downs and killing it. And then you'll definitely hear this little up, down, down. I got an idea. So C, C, up, down, down to kind of kick it off um, into an F major chord. And normally you do this as a bar on the first fret. We'll talk about some easier ways to, to play this too. But then two on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A, third fret, pinky on the D, third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now a lot of times on Fs though, you can substitute an F major seven. It's gonna play against the blues a little bit. But you can do first finger on the B, first fret, second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the D, third fret, and if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord, it sounds really groovy, happy, so that might be a really easy out if you're just starting out. Or, what, what it really kind of sounds like is taking the F major, and then if you lift off the pinky, that makes that an F7 chord, kind of playing more into the blues here. Or you could take the pinky and add him in on the B string 4th fret for an F7, kind of dig on that too. And then from the F, we'd be going back to our C chord, some more C, and then we go to a G major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. If you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Uh, you could also put the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, make that a little bit more powerful kind of G. Or you may dig on a G seven chord by doing first finger on the high E first fret, second finger on the A second, third finger on the low E third. Kind of working that for your kids. Or if you're digging on the bar chords, actually, you can take that F7 idea that we were doing from first fret and then slide it over to third fret and make it a G7 chord. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string, sixth fret for a G7. And from the G, we'd be going back to our F and then we kind of end up with some big hit C hits at the end. You may want to do kind of a down and kind of get the right hand to just kind of kill the string, like at the very end. Now there's a couple different ways you could kind of work strumming through that actually. Like if one, one way to do it would be just doing downs. I actually kind of feel an F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's kind of a kind of a quick down bolts. Um, but just to try it that way, you have kind of that C hit, C hit, F. And actually, I'm feeling the fours now. C two, three, four, C two, three, G. Yeah, so maybe that would be easier, kind of a four down count. F two three four, F two three four, C because of the tempo. So what I'm thinking, rather than the double time, that might be kind of cool too. Um, randomly, there are some hits too, and actually, I would really think about using this for myself on on the C right before you go to that that first F. It's almost doing a triplet idea, and you'll hear some spots where the drums kind of do this kind of an idea, where it's almost kind of a down up down up down up. Which you're kind of feeling things in. Kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, down, down, up, down, up, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. It's kind of a very cool little little thing. So it's almost like you're taking the four beats, kind of one, two, three, four, and making three on each one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm doing that as down, up, down, up, down, up. It's kind of the feel of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that might be something you might want to think about adding in, actually, kind of see. See? I went into the strum pattern we're going to talk about C, G, F, C. Oh, and I 
also did something really cool there with the G chord. Uh, because of where you're coming from, from the F, it might make it easier if you're doing the, the G chord second on the A, third on the low B, pinky on the high E string. Random other G chord voicing that might make it easier to get back or from the C to the G. I can make that a little bit easier. I'm just going to two and three. But I did jump into a strum pattern a little early there. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That gives you more notes to swing. So we're trying it through the verse chords that we have kind of that C hit. C hit. Up, down, down. Maybe triplets. And it is a little weird, actually, on the second verse, actually, right, right after the intro, you may just want to go to just uh, kind of one big hit on the C's, actually. But the main thing, really, is to listen to the drums and kind of try and follow what the drums are doing. But, but you kind of hear that, that C, 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 two, three, four, C, and then kind of going into that. So we kind of dig on that, too. hits on, on the C chord at the very, very end. Now one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, up the down, down, up, up, down, or the down, up, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the C you'd have the A for a bass, down, up, down, up on the F you'd have low E for the bass. On the F major so you'd have B for the bass. And on the G you'd have low E for the bass. So we try it through our first chorus that way you'd have kind of that C. Another C hit, another C hit, and I'd really want to throw in some triplets. If I was playing it out, but just listen to the drums, you might want to avoid that. And then we'd have the F of the bass, down, up, down, And then from there we go into our solo part, and now we actually play through those first C's actually at the beginning. Actually, our form doesn't really change, but we kind of play through the C's that we've got. So we've got kind of a C, 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 C. cool licks through that too if you wanted to kind of follow it. The main concept I think through the solo actually uh, for, for this tune is kind of a slide into pieces of chords keep down ups going if, if you're thinking concepts. So it's almost like the C chord actually kind of becomes this little shape of 12th fret on the high E, 13th on the B string is kind of an E and a C chord a note. It's actually the very beginning of the, of the solo. But you'll hear where, where it kind of slides into it from one fret below it. So it's all about this 11th fret, 12th fret, slide to 12, 13. But then you keep it going with the down ups. Kind of a, that's kind of our, our C idea. And then from there, we, we, we're going into a little piece of kind of the, the F7 kind of an idea. Kind of, kind of first finger on the 10th on the B, 11th fret on the high E string, but you may want to slide into it from 9 and 10. Then we kind of go back to the C idea, kind of that 11 to 12 sliding into the 12, 13. And then for the G, you could kind of take the, the 
13 on the high E, 15 on the B string. And then you'll kind of hear where it almost goes to 15 on the high E for a second and then comes back. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> and then we kind of go back to our 1110 idea for the F. And then we're back to our 1213 idea for the C. So that might be kind of cool. So that, that first break through, through for the solo, you got the C idea, C idea, C idea, C idea. idea of, of, kind of kind of taking pieces of the chord kind of working back and forth kind of gets expanded and, and randomly I pick out all these solos by ear so if you want exact tab and, and this is like man I hear some other note like go, go go find guitar pro and some tab or some Elvis you know play it exactly book and, and that's cool I do this for ear training for myself so uh, I, I think these are pretty cool licks and this is how I would play it out probably um, but uh, but the next break actually could do eight on the B string nine on the G string and then go to 10 on the G and the B string. So I'm actually setting the eight, nine as first finger, second finger, and then going to the third finger and the fourth finger for the tens. Kind of becomes our new C idea. Kind of a little piece of the C chord. And then for the F idea, you could do eight on the E and the B to 10 on the E and the B. And then you could go back to the C idea idea then you could kind of take the 9 on the E and B slide it into the 10 and then go to 12s on the high E and B and then we kind of do 7 slide into an 8 on the E and B and then we're back to kind of our C idea kind of at the very end so we dig on that <laughs> then we got kind of the 8 and 9 to 10s kind of the C idea Strength through Ready Teddy by Elvis Presley. So, good luck. <laughs>